you have your Bible, take it with me today and open to the great seventh chapter. The seventh chapter of the book of Matthew. TBN is the biggest television network in Christianity today, TBN, but it stands for the Totally Blasphemous Network. You're not going to get anything from Matthew Crouch and Lori Crouch. But from this evangelist, you're going to get the truth. TBN stands for the Totally Blasphemous Network. It's nothing but blasphemy. It's nothing but abominations. It's nothing but lies. It's nothing but half-truths. It's nothing but tell you to get your money out, get your wallet out, and send me money. It's the God con conning you to give money to them. It is basically a pay-to-pray scheme. But look, you're listening to the only preacher in America. I don't play to my audience. I love you. I love you, and I'm glad you're watching me on YouTube. I'm glad you're watching me on Twitter and IGTV. I am so glad that you're watching me on Parlor. but I don't play to my audience. I play and I pray to Almighty God. Let me say that again. I don't play to the crowd. I play to the cross of Christ. I don't play to my audience. I play to Almighty God. I only care what Almighty God says, thinks, and believes. You need to get over what you believe to be true, and you need to worry about what actually is true in the Word of Almighty God. Matthew chapter 7, and we are going to begin in the 12th verse. The words of Jesus Christ, they're written in the red in the Bible. I said they're written in the red in the Bible. We need to get back to the red. We need to get back to the red blood of Jesus Christ. The world says they want to go green. Go green. They want to go globalism. No, green is not going to save you. You know what's going to save you? Going red for the blood of Jesus Christ. The only tree that you need to hug is the tree of Calvary upon which Jesus died. But instead of the tree of Calvary today, we're going crazy for technology, information, and knowledge. But it's the knowledge of the tree of good and evil. Apple, Amazon, Alphabet, Google, AT&T. And you will split hell wide open. Because the devil's coming along saying to you just what he said in the garden. It's all good. You will surely die. You will be his gods. You'll have knowledge and information and tech. But that tech is going to lead you to split hell wide open. Clutching your handheld devices. The red, the words of Jesus. Therefore, verse 12, all things whatsoever you would that men should do unto you, do even to them, for this is the law and the prophets. How many of you went to Sunday schools again? How many of you grew up Southern Baptist or Assemblies of God like I did? From the time you were knee high to a grasshopper, as we say down south, you were taught the golden rule. Put others first. Love God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. And love your neighbor as yourself. The first two commands. Thou shalt have no gods before me. Have no molten gods. No carved gods. No engraved gods. No idols, images, likenesses of anything. I am God. Make me first. Dedicate, consecrate, commit your life to God. The golden rule. The problem today. Because of the prosperity message and psychology and purpose and positive confession and all the P words that I preach about all the time, we have forsaken the golden rule for chasing silver and gold. We have forsaken the golden rule and the gospel and the grace of God for gain, for glory, and for self-greatness. My peer preachers, my contemporary preachers, in the shower in the morning, instead of singing, then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee, how great thou art. Instead of singing that, you know what Joel Osteen and Joyce Meyer and Matthew Crouch <laughs> and Gabriel Swaggart and Joseph Prince and Rick Warren and go 
those who preach the gospel of self-esteem and self-love and self-image and vanity and pride and ego. You know what they sing in the shower in the morning? Then sings my soul, my Savior God to me. How great I am. How great I am. The modern gospel is humanism. Joel Osteen is preaching humanism. It revolves around self, who I am, what I am, what I can do, what's in it for me. And God is made into a magical genie in a bottle. But that's not the God of the Bible. That's not the God of Scripture. That's not the gospel of Jesus Christ. Hmm. I might just preach today. Enter ye in, verse 13, at the straight gate. How many of you know Isaiah 40, verse 4? God is able to make the crooked places straight. Glory be to God. That was the message of John the Baptist. You may have messed everything up. Your life may be crooked and corrupt, but Jesus is able to make the crooked places straight. Hallelujah. 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 Enter in at the straight gate. For wide is the gate and broad is the way. That's broadband. That's your cable systems. That's your satellite systems. That's Netflix and Amazon Prime and, and Disney Plus and, and Hulu and the streaming videos that dump in the lake of fire. Wide is the gate. Broad is the way that leads to destruction. And many there be which go in there at about 7 billion. Because straight is the gate. Now listen, and narrow is the way which leads to life and few there be that find it. Narrow is the way. You say, Brother Mike, you're so narrow-minded. I'm narrow-minded because of the narrow way. It's not a broad way. Jesus said many are going to hell, but few are going to heaven. Are you listening to me? Turn off Joel Osteen and read the book of Joel. Turn off Joyce Meyer and discover the joy of the Lord. Turn off Joseph Prince and meet the Prince of Peace, Jesus Christ. The rose of Sharon, the lily of the valley, the bright and morning star, the King of kings and Lord of lords who hung and died and bled on the cross. The narrow way. I'm preaching today, part one, we're beginning a series. And the subject is the American way or the Christian way. You heard me right. The American way or the Christian way. They are not synonyms. They are not congruent. They are two separate things. And don't shout me down now because I'm preaching real good. The alternate title, a.k.a. of this message is Corporate America is not Christian America. We confuse the two. But I am going to bring out in this message that the culture, the society in the United States is not according to the word of God. That America is not a Christian nation. How has she, has she ever been a Christian nation? And we are going to get into true American history. Not what you've been taught. Not, not the lies. Not the deceptions. Not the denial. But what is the reality? What is the reality? What is the reality of the situation? What was America ever? Truly. A Christian nation, it's doubtful. America is not a Christian nation now. I'm going to tell you something. With God, it's only His way. And that's what Jesus was talking about in our context, in our text. It's only His way. It's not your way. Somebody said, Brother Mike, oh, what about America's great Judeo-Christian heritage? Judeo-Christian heritage... We're going to blow that thing up. 
You stay tuned for every part of this series. We're going to blow that thing up. Judeo-Christian heritage. Was Jesus a patriot? Was Jesus a zealot for the governor of Israel? What did Jesus say of his people? What did Jesus say in John 8, 44? He looked at the religious leaders of Israel. He looked at Israel that would later crucify him. And he said, you are of your father, the devil. You're a liar and you're a murderer from the beginning. This is God's current opinion of the state of the Jewish people. People today are far too easily offended. They get offended by this. They get offended by that. Far, far too easily offended. <laughs> In this series, I'm going to show you the way to heaven and the way to hell. The way to life and the way to death. Jesus or the devil. The Bible or blasphemy. I'm going to show you in this series that it is the blood of Jesus Christ. Or it's the flood of the judgment of God. Noah had no followers. Noah preached to the people of his day. He said, a flood is coming and you have to get in the ark. But he was hated. He was ridiculed. He was ignored just like I am. I am America's most hated slash ignored preacher. They don't listen to me when I tell you that a flood of the wrath of God has already started and it's going to get worse. Don't believe the false prophets and false teachers who are going to tell you 2021. It's going to be a new year. It's going to be a good year of blessing and increase in favor and prosperity. That is a lie. The judgment of God has just gotten started and it's going to get worse and it's going to get worse. And if it looks like it's getting better temporarily, that is a lie. That is a deception. That is a delusion. It is a false peace, a false safety, and a false prosperity. Don't put your faith and trust in man's vaccines. Put your faith, hope, and trust in the verses of the word of Almighty God. The cross is the only cure for corona. The cross of Christ and the blood he there shed is the only way to stay the plague. It is the word of God or the wrath of God. Are you listening to me? I have so many critics. They don't like what I have to say. Oh, Brother Mike's crazy. Brother Mike's insane. Brother Mike's a lunatic. Brother Mike is a rebel. Brother Mike is a rascal. <laughs> I have one thought and one reference and one recommendation for all my critics. Check out the last scene of Gone with the Wind. Here's Scarlet, all boo-hoo, sob-sob. <laughs> and it was all writ. He listened to her complain gripe, mumble, murmur, fear. He's had it up to here. He can't take it anymore. And what, is, what does Red say to Scarlet? He says, frankly, my dear, I don't give fill in the blank. And that's what I say to my critics. I don't care what anybody has to say. I'm not going to stop shouting. I don't care what anybody says. I'm not going to stop screaming. I don't care what anybody says. I'm not going to stop swinging from the chandeliers. I don't care what anybody says. I'm not going to be a high roller, but I'm going to be a holy roller for God. I'm not going to be a rock and roller, but I'm going to know the rock of ages, the one who rolled away the stone. Criticize all you want. Lampoon me all you want. Won't mock me all you want, but I'm gonna preach the old fashioned, old school, old paths, Pentecostal holiness, word of Almighty God, till they pry this Bible that I'm thumping from my dead cold Bible thumping hands. Glory be to God forevermore. The gospel today is gone with the wind. Why? Because we chase and we follow every wind of doctrine. Doctrines of demons. Doctrines of devils. They're all over our 
TV, Christian television is the God con. It is the greatest God con of them all. So we're going to get into all this. I'm going to stop for today. It's part one. And we're going to pick it up tomorrow with part two. Don't touch that dial because there's nothing anywhere else. Don't touch that dial. Keep watching, brother dial. Call me for prayer, for counseling, to schedule me in your church, conference, convention, camp meeting, company, 703-405-1942. I'm always here. Text first. I'm always here. Pastor Mike, I love you. God bless you. Bye-bye now.